Right now, Bitcoin is testing some very important Fibonacci levels on the four hour chart. And guys, more importantly, there's something very interesting shaping up on the daily chart. Are we actually gonna get a pullback at this point? Have we already seen this bearish divergence play out? Or in fact, are we headed to a much lower target? Welcome back everyone. I'm your host, Stanley Sticky Fingers. And boy, we have a lot to be delving into in this webisode. We're gonna be spending this video talking about Bitcoin's current positioning because there are quite a bit of signs on not only the one six hour and daily chart, but on some of these other charts as well for Bitcoin's price that I find extremely interesting. Guys, I personally like making videos more when Bitcoin's dumping because finding area support, I think, is much more exciting in many ways because we all know what happens after a nice dump. We get usually a very nice pump. So this is a very interesting level depending on where Bitcoin bottoms here. This can get extremely exciting as we then move in to our next move to the upside. So if you guys like gainers, make sure to smash that like and subscribe as well, turn on those post notifications. And as well, guys, all comments do enter you for the Sledgesodes. Congratulations to the latest winner. And as well, guys, if you have experience trading, you wanna support the channel as well, make sure to take advantage of the nice over $100 deposit bonuses on Bybit right now. Whether it's leverage or not, trading is always risky, so always be careful. Scissor me sideways. So this price action is starting to get exciting. And like we said in the intro, guys, this is exciting because when there's pumps, there's dumps, there's dumps, there's pumps. And the most exciting thing about this is when we actually initiate a pullback before we find that bottom, I get excited because then we know usually, you know, as soon as we find that bottom, especially with the euphoria going on in Bitcoin's current positioning and environment, we are most likely going to have a very nice rally after we actually cement a bottom. Now, this is something that we may be beginning, something a lot of people have been waiting for, but we're gonna actually take a look at some very interesting pullback targets because as we've been saying as well, we're gonna be getting pullbacks, but they might just not be as drastic as a lot of people expect because Bitcoin is pretty bullish. So uh, before we get into the Bitcoin charts as well, guys, I actually wanna take a look at this. The DXY actually had a pretty big move like an entire dollar up earlier. Currently, you see that wick went all the way back down, started out here, opened here, all the way up here, and then reversed and came all the way down. So curious about this, probably because of stimulus. Stimulus, you guys, most importantly for Bitcoin's price, for the last like four or five days, we were at the very top of this over two month uh, bro ascending broadening wedge basically here. And very interestingly, if we go to the RSI, um, we found many bounces along the 70 line on the RSI. So just keeping Bitcoin in the overbought territory, we found all of these bounces as Bitcoin was rallying up. And when we failed to hold support here on the RSI, you can see many times that is when we would revisit the bottom of this channel. Same thing here. We tried to get back above this for support on the RSI. We got rejected. And next thing you know, we again tested the bottom of this channel. So what is happening right now on the daily RSI is interesting as well, because if we take a look at this right now, we're on the absolute verge. If we are unable to hold this again, it becomes very likely on these short time frames. Okay. Keep in mind the bullish momentum of Bitcoin is still extremely strong on weekly time frames, but we're talking probably the next one to three days. Uh, again, if Bitcoin fails to hold these key levels and keep up this momentum, it is possible that we have a revisit down to here. Now, is that the most likely scenario? So we're going to be delving more into that. But first, I want to say this. If Bitcoin did revisit the bottom of this channel, it would bring it down potentially uh, slightly under 20,000. I personally think 20,000 probably would hold. And first of all, if it did hold, that would just be another macro indicator of just extreme bullishness. And I don't think 30K would be very far away at this point. We've already broken 24,000, set new all-time highs yesterday. So Bitcoin is still extremely bullish. Uh, a lot of people have been waiting for a pullback. I would personally love to see a pullback for the reasons we said multiple times in the video that when we get strong pullbacks, it makes the pumps a lot more valid, um, a lot more bullish in my opinion, once we are actually recovering from a bearish move. But I'm not 100% convinced just yet that we are gonna get this pullback. Uh, we have some very strong momentum already buying Bitcoin up at some very key levels. If we go to these short-term timeframes, uh, actually, before we go to the short-term, let's just take a look at another daily chart, this nine-month ascending channel again, still holding this for support. Even though we wicked below it, you can see we're basically right fighting to stay above this right here. Uh, again, same level, but same thing. If we break below this, the target to the downside is exactly the same, right about a little over 20,000 US dollars. Same thing here. Every day that goes by, it gets a little higher, but if we would go to the very lowest 
uh, of this channel, let's say by tomorrow, it would be a little under 20,000 US dollars. But again, this it doesn't usually go straight down. And as well, guys, six hour charts, very interesting right now. There's some very clear bearish divergence and that is playing out. So you see that here on the six hour chart, you see the RSI going down with the price action going up. And you see that action. I mean, this is a follow through. This is Bitcoin getting that pullback, in my opinion, because of this bearish divergence. So we've already gotten a follow through here. But now it's the, the real question is how strong is Bitcoin in this move? Guys, and again, these videos, in my opinion, are the most exciting ones, especially during a bull market, because when price is pumping, it's incredibly exciting. But to be honest, it's hard to make a video when the price just goes straight up. You can basically sum up the video by saying, wow, Bitcoin just went straight up uh, and that's basically it. But when we have a very strong move to the upside and then we get a pullback, there's a lot that can be said about these pullbacks. And I think they're much more exciting. And like I said, once we do get those downside moves, then we can start getting excited for the pumps. And inversely, once we get the pumps, we have to start getting the opposite of excited for dumps. Or if you're trying to pick up more Bitcoin, you can actually get excited for those dumps. And then you look on the four hour chart, Bitcoin is still holding this key area, the 1.2 here, went all the way up to the 1.6 uh, Fib extension here. Uh, but again, you see the bearish divergence actually playing out on the four hour chart as well. So it's not just the six hour chart. You see that we're getting that follow through as well. We actually tried holding on this 21 moving average on the four hour for a while. And we almost came down to the 50 for support here, but we didn't even quite come down to it. And even in the middle of this seemingly potentially, um, you know, short term reversal pullback before we continue higher to maybe 25 plus thousand US dollars over the next week or so, Bitcoin's momentum is still very strong. And again, this is why this is so exciting. We want to see just how much strength Bitcoin has for these pullbacks. Because as we said, you look on this chart, we've not really had any substantial pullbacks since we started blasting off, since we broke out of the symmetrical triangle, uh, or if you want to call it an ascending triangle, whatever you want to call it on these macro charts. Since we've broken out of here, we've basically just been going straight up ever since we got confirmation on the 21 week moving average back here in September and very early October. So ever since then, Bitcoin has basically been on a trajectory straight up. And again, the best illustration of this is you see Bitcoin incredibly separated from the 21 week moving average. So here, and here you see very, very separated, not even close. Last time they were close was back here. So again, this is a measure of strength and this is the most exciting to me because once we actually get validation of just how strong Bitcoin's price action is, then it makes it easier to plan targets to the upside and to just kind of speculatively look at what prices Bitcoin can be hitting in the short term, midterm and long term. And guys, if you go on the one hour chart as well, Bitcoin at this very moment testing the point of control of this one hour chart. Point of control is roughly about 22.7, 22.8. So 22,770 up to like 22,800, a uh, very strong level. So far we have only had one hour closes at our other level of support, which was the very lowest that this ascending triangle was forming back here. So that's also a pretty good sign. We haven't broken any significant levels concretely here. We're looking for four and six hour closes in dangerous levels if we're gonna get bearish. But so far we have not even gotten a one hour close in a level that's necessarily incredibly bearish yet. So remember we got that high uh, just a few days ago and then we got the higher high yesterday and now we're getting that pullback so this is the area to watch for but ultimately this chart i think tells the biggest story of how bullish we can get so in this ascending broadening wedge uh for a true breakout i think a lot of volume will come in once we actually break above this but you can see we've had we've not been able to do it for the past two months we've had many macro touches along the top line here and we haven't been able to break it and now it makes sense that we might be coming down for a a fifth macro touch down here on the downside if everything does go completely bearish in the short term. And how will we know if we're going to do that? Well, like I just said, I personally think that if we don't hold the RSI here, literally exactly, exactly where we are right now, like we did over the past two months, okay, you see one, two, three, four, uh, yeah, four or five support here or support bounces here and then actually multiple resistance bounces here as well so and every time we failed to hold support here we did end up revisiting the bottom of this channel so again if the rsi if we basically don't hold where we're at right now it does become more likely that we come down here but again this is the daily chart if we do zoom out to something like the weekly overall it is more bullish i personally think what's happening right now is the bearish divergence on the four and six hour is just playing out so not necessarily anything too drastic yet. And in fact, we're getting very strong bounces at these levels. Now, this could be more of a turnaround, which I personally hope. I personally think that would be better. And many of you agree with that. I get comments all the time and I read every comment. Uh, I personally would like to see Bitcoin retest $20,000 first. Um, a lot of people might not want to see that, 
but I, I, I think that would be better. I want to build more confidence in this rally. I don't want it to be a short-term pump. And uh, I mean, it's just been going straight up for so long that I feel more comfortable when we get moves to the downside and we really cement those levels as support, which we haven't really done yet because we haven't even come down to them. Uh, and I didn't mean to draw it all the way down to the 21. I kind of even just meant right to here uh, to find support here. We tested this for resistance for about five weeks. So if we end up coming down and holding this, cementing that, but again, now it's a question of will we go down this one actually went to the 21 week, but now it's more of a question of, is Bitcoin too strong to come all the way down to the 21 week? But now, as of our weekly close yesterday, the 21 week is at about 14.5. So that's at like $700 higher than it was last week. I think it was about like 13.8. Now it's at 14.5. So it's coming up because Bitcoin's become so bullish. So again, the longer Bitcoin can maintain this bullish momentum, the less it really has to come down to meet some of these requirements technically of like, you know, revisiting the 21 week moving average. But personally, again, I'm saying I personally think Bitcoin might be a little too strong. And I want to see this area hold uh, between 18, five and 20,000. But uh, yeah, I mean, we could maybe even see a wick down to nine, 19,000 or 18,000. But again, personally, I'm pretty confident that 20,000 looks really good right here. And currently we're already still, I mean, even after this pullback, we're still $3,000 above 20,000. So realistically, this is, uh, this is barely a pullback yet. It feels crazy saying that because let's take a look on this chart, see how much we're down over the last two days. Yeah, we're about almost 10% down in the last two days. Specifically today, we're about, let's see how much we're down today, maybe like five, 6%. So really, even though this is like over a thousand dollar move, it's still only a few percent because Bitcoin's price is so high at this point. So guys, make sure to leave your comments below, like, turn on those notifications and subscribe as well if you're interested in winning the ledgers. And as well guys, for anybody with experience trading and you wanna support the channel, always be safe with trading, leverage or not, uh, but we have some nice bonuses below if you're interested.